Welcome everyone to another Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxing video. In this video, we're going to be looking at Speed Duel Battle City Box. This actually came out about a month ago or so, uh, last month in November. So it's a pretty interesting product for sure. And I will definitely go ahead and show the back first because there is a lot to, a lot to showcase here with this product. So basically, uh, it says that you will receive eight decks. Contains eight decks and you get to relive epic duels from Battle City. Yeah, cool. That's whatever, right? But yeah, so it includes the Egyptian God cards. You can see a copy of Chimera there. Uh, so a lot, lots of good stuff for sure. You know, I'm not going to talk about all these individually because, you know, I want to go ahead and open them. But it says there's actually a lot of skill cards. 20 skill cards, 16 which are brand new. That is crazy. Uh, this is definitely a big step forward for speed dueling because as we already know, speed dueling is something that's not necessarily receiving... Um, as much love as uh, you know as Konami would have hoped for it for it to receive but uh, Sadly, yeah, it just it just hasn't you know, it really just hasn't and that's a that's a real big shame if you ask me Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna bring my trusted bottle opener here so I can go ahead and just cut it's Normally pull up and there we go simple enough Yeah, much easier uh, much harder if you're just using only your hands. It's a lot, uh, a lot more difficult Okay, let's go ahead and remove all of this here and let's see what we got here in this product. All right, we're gonna go and remove this. The box is actually not bad, to be honest. It's pretty good quality, as you can see, so it's pretty cool. Okay, so first we got some cards right here. As you can see, have plenty of, uh, plenty of uh, I guess we could consider variants, sort of. But there's also all this. So I will definitely go ahead and um, put these aside. I believe you get, what, four? I think there's four. There's another one way down here. Let me go ahead and pull that one. I guess I'll just remove the whole piece too. That makes sense. Yeah, these things are just here to like, you know, make sure that your stuff doesn't go all over the place when you buy the thing. Although they kind of did already, sort of, because it shouldn't be a mess like this. It's just if you shake the product a lot, they'll basically come out like this. But there's all these here. Like, whoa, what is all this? Okay. Let's look at the front first. So this one is Dark Magician right here. Um, this one uh, just has Horn the Phantom Beast right in the front. This one has pre-preparation of rights, and then this one has the warrior retreating alive in the front. So it's not four decks here, because again, uh, speed duel decks are a lot smaller, so a lot of these are actually encompassing two decks each. They just put them together like that. Uh, let's go ahead and show these first. So basically, if we open these up, you'll see right away, these actually serve as, um, as mats, but what's really cool about these, because they usually don't make these kind of things with the ones that uh, Konami releases in like structure decks and stuff like that. But if you open it up, you'll actually see, oh, one sec, there we go. Like, yeah, you know, that makes sense, that's a speed duel, but look at this. It's actually double side, I can't even show the whole thing because it's so damn big. But yeah, that's the slifer side and the kyber side, so you just need one of these, um, you know, for a duel, and that's it. Pretty cool, uh, the back side of it does actually have some pretty cool stuff over here. It shows you a deck list right over here. So you can see right there it says, you know, Magician's Art, Magnetic Attraction, Beast of Phantom, so on and so forth. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool for sure. Uh, and then just a bunch of like, you know, standard rules for speed dueling. You can see all this right here. I'm not going to go over all that, of course, but yeah, you get the idea. I'm pretty sure you get it. Um, I just don't want to spend too much time on that because this, of course, is... A, uh, an unboxing for the actual for the actual cards themselves of course so I'm gonna go ahead and just put these over here I believe they're all let me actually make sure seems like they are I wasn't actually entirely sure if they were the same but it seems like they more than likely will be okay let's go ahead and start with these because I'm sure all of you are actually curious and, you know on these and what they actually have so let's go ahead and open them up okay so Gonna go ahead and put these up close. So the very first one that we have here is Slifer, the Sky Dragon, secret rare version. Oh wow, it's actually surprising that they brought these things this early into speed duels. I didn't think they were, but yeah. So there we go. That's of course Slifer, the Sky Dragon, looking uh you know as awesome as ever. I'm gonna go ahead and move this box over here so I got more space, and I'm gonna go ahead and put Slifer right up there in the front. Next up is Obelix the Tormentor. Look at that. Another secret rare, of course, and looks looks great. Okay, and of course the third one, as we all know, is going to be the Winged Dragon of Raw. 
Of course. That's the trilogy right there. It's not actually a trilogy, I just said trilogy because that refers to three, but there we go. And a couple other cards. So here we get a Secret Rare Foolish Burial, looking really great. This card has, has had so many printings in regular Yu-Gi-Oh! A lot of common printings and so many structure decks all over the place, but yeah, so... There we go, so that's Foolish Burial. Let's see what else we got. We got Fire Formation. This one's actually pretty damn good. When this card is activated, you can add one level four lower beats warrior monster from your deck to your hand. That alone enough is really good, you know? Okay, then we got Valkyrion, the Magna Warrior. Wow, look at that. Okay. And then we got Blue Eyes Ultimate. Oof, Bless Ultimate. Wow. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Yeah, you know, because this card obviously has never had enough printings ever in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh. And then lastly, we got Spell Canceler. Basically the Jin Zopa for spell cards, but much weaker stats. Can you imagine if they made like a Jin Zopa stat equivalent for spell cards? Like if Spell Canceler had 2400 attack with one tribute, that'd be so freaking busted back in old Yu-Gi-Oh. But anyway, these are all foils. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put these all here at the very top, of course. There we go. So those are all of them. I guess I can go ahead and scoot them over a little bit to center them, but um, you get the point, right? I'm pretty sure you do. There we go. That's much closer to the middle. Okay. Let's start opening all these because I'm sure a lot of you are very curious about these. So let's see where we can find the thing that we can go ahead and pull. Actually, I think I stand corrected. I was not able to find that. I'm just going to go ahead and tear off the corner here and go from there. I mean, that seems to be the most uh, effective way if you can't ever find that little spot that they typically go ahead and provide for you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and place these over here and we'll just go ahead and do these one at a time. But this one here is Fire Preparation of Rites. I'm of course not going to be going all over, you know, over all these um, in great detail, each one. But here we got Widespread Ruin, okay. Mask of Weakness. Bark of Dark Ruler. So you know, there'll be some good ones and some bad ones. Here's Soul Demolition. You can see definitely a throwback to a lot of these cards came out on like uh, Labyrinth of Nightmare, Legacy of Darkness, and so on and so forth. Here's Dark Smog, okay. Keldo, remember this one, of course. Okay. Mudora, this one originally came out as a super rare. I remember that. Good monster for fairy support, but never really made a huge scene because fairies were not that great. And here's Zolga, so a bunch of these are Ishizu, Ishizu cards. Here's Kelbeck. Then we got Scale Angel. You can see a bunch of fairies here. Air Knight Parsha, a very good card when it first came out. Wow, I remember those days. Moisture Creature. This card got power crept by um, Beast King Barbaros really fast. It, well, not really fast, but I mean, eventually when, the, when Beast King Barbaros came out, this card was pretty much useless in regular Yu-Gi-Oh. Guardian Angel Joanne. Remember that one too. Angel 07. I always would call this like Angel 007. I don't know why, but wow. Dimensional Alchemist. This one also was pretty good in some ways. I do remember that. Bonze alone. Okay. Nolman of Cross Out. Of course, very iconic card. Another Foolish Burial, this time a common version. Okay. Cestus of Dagla. Wow, just a throwback to these, you know? Valhalla, Hall of the Fallen. Like, it's nice to see these because, like, in you know, old school Yu Gi Oh! Like, that's a long time ago. But it's nice to see these. Cosmic Cyclone, that's a bit of a newer one. Um, Wabaku. <laughs> that's very, very old. Back in the day. Rope of Life, but yeah, see, it's nice just to see these cards being revived because now they actually are good cards in Speed Duels, you know? Here's Drop Off, very good for those, you know, Hand Destruction decks, Lost Wind, Jinzo, there's Jinzo, okay. The Fiend Mega Cyber, yep, that was from Feral Servant, I believe. Free the Matchless General, Mysterious Guard. We got Exile Force, Swarm of Scarabs. Is Locust gonna be here? Yes, it is. There's Swarm of Locusts. Death's Lakuda. Those are all those cards that can flip themselves face down once per turn. Here's Dark Scorpion Gorg, Dark Scorpion Mane. Here's Amplifier, good support for Jinzo. Only two Dark Scorpions, wow, okay. Lightning Blade, Creature Swap. 
Rhoda, that's a good one. And uh, I think this guy actually continues onward with the next one over here. At least I'm pretty sure. One thing I was seeing is that they don't actually have that little, you know, you can just snap off. I believe you actually have to take them out the, the old fashioned way by coming up here. All right, there we go. Finally took a little while. Just gotta keep, you know, snapping it off and, okay. So here is the second big stack of cards. Might be going a little faster with some of these because you know it just makes sense to do that i don't want to you know prolong this too much but here's horn of the phantom beast okay then we got chimera the flying mythical beast x head cannon white dragon head z metal tank heavy mech support platform okay big three viper xx03 ducker mobile cannon that's a uh, remember all these jade knight okay falcon b I always call it Falchion View, I don't think that's how you say it. Machina Gearframe, great card for Machina cards, that's for sure. Then we got Machina Peacekeeper, Delta Tri, okay. United We Stand, I guess that's a great equip card for, you know, this, you know, with, considering what other options we have for Speed Duels. Frontline Base, Machine Assembly Line, good stuff. It's Union Hanger made it. Whoa, 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 this thing is a very modernized Hard. Can you imagine this thing? I mean, at least the ABCs aren't here, but oh my god, that's crazy. Solitary Sword of Poison, Formation Union, Rare Metal Morph, Rollout. Alright, the typical Union support. This one's also pretty damn good. Union Scramble. Then we got XY Dragon Cannon, XYZ Dragon Cannon, uh, XZ Tank Cannon, YZ Tank Dragon. Wow, okay. So that's another deck done. I've kind of already been mixing them around all over the place, but I think you kind of get it, you know? It's all fine, it's perfectly fine. Here we got the Blue Eyes White Dragon, and we got Sagi the Dark Clown, uh, Sword Stalker, Lajin the Mystical Genie, Vorse Raider, okay, 1900 beat stick right there, Dark Blade, Mahavila, Zombria the Dark, Spear Dragon, and Kaiser Glider, a pretty good 2400 attacker, one tribute monster. We got Fiend Sanctuary for spells, Soul Exchange, Shrink, not bad, Mage Power, another good equipped spell card, Silent Doom, good for normal monster support, then for traps we got Acid Trap Hole, Negate Attack, Magic Drain, Final Attack Orders, and Inspiration, nothing too amazing with trap cards there, but pretty good ones here and there, you know. For some additional cards here, we got Mask Beast Discardius, okay, got Shining Abyss, these seem to be the Rare Hunters one, uh, Lumis and Umbra. Prentic Yelder, Melcher the Four Faced Beast, Beast of Talwar, Opticlops, Wall of Illusion, Night Assailant, not bad, Ritual Raven, <laughs> good for rituals, huh? The Mask Beast, Nolman of Extermination, Mask of Brutality, uh, the Mask of Remnants. What the? See now this one, unless I'm remembering it wrong, that one that one didn't come out in the same one as all the others, right? Which was what uh, Labyrinth of Nightmare, and then Curse of the Mask Beast. I don't actually remember if it did. I don't know why I don't have a good memory with that, but uh, I, I typically remember a bunch of other stuff. A lot easier. All right, this one is actually a little different. You can just simply pop off the back like that, but the other ones are, I don't know. They were actually sealed a little bit differently, unfortunately. Okay. So for this next one over here, that's a lot of cards. <laughs> we got Dark Magician, Aquamador. Okay, then we got Buster Blader, Archfiend of Gilfer. Swift Guy the Fierce Knight, Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, not bad, not bad, Skill White Magician, Breaker the Magical Warrior, that is a great card back in the day. Skill Red Magician, okay, then we got um, Dark Magic Curtain, Polymerization, Diffusion, Book of Moon, overall pretty solid card, Emblem of Dragon Destroyer, Destruction Swordsman Fusion, Fusion Recycling Plant, Magical Hats, Fairy Wind, Dark Light, and Metaverse, okay, that's Metaverse, that's pretty random in here, but that's a good card. Dark Paladin, iconic card, um, of course, very iconic. Then we got, so that's basically another deck, another small deck right there, you know. Uh, Valkyrion the Magna Warrior, Alpha the Magna Warrior, Beta the Magnet Warrior, Gamma the Magnet Warrior. Oh, they included Delta in here, huh, <laughs> cool. Delta the Magnet Warrior, that's one of the nearest support. Giant Soldier of Stone, Destroyer Golem, the Rock Spirit, Grand Mark, the Rock Monarch, okay, one of the worst Monarchs, but whatever. 
Absorbing Jar, Black Golem. Okay. Attack the Moon, hilarious card. Magnetic Field, Zero Gravity. Mind Crush, Rock Bombardment, Sealing Ceremony of Mokuton, Unbreakable Spirit, Magnet Force, Magnet Conversion. Okay. I believe the next one is going to be the Phantom Beast deck. Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts. Burfamat. Phantom Beast Crosswing. Phantom Beast Wildhorn. Phantom Beast Thunder Pegasus. Giant Rat. Bazuda Solier. Manticore of Darkness. Not bad. Enraged Battlelox. Uh, Ghost Knight of Jackal. Behemoth, the King of All Animals. And Green Baboon, Defender of the Forest. Just some good stuff in here for sure. Uh, Wild Nature's Release. The Big March of Animals, Spiritual Forest, another Fire Formation Tanky, The Big Cattle Drive, Ryoku Field, and Howl of the Wild. So, I think I already got, I reached the cutoff one with another one and I actually opened it in the wrong way. When I really shouldn't have done that, but it's whatever. I think by this point you kind of get it, you know? But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and open up our last set of cards here. So, here we have The War Returning Alive, Hammer Shot. Hidden Armory, Draining Shield, Psychic Shockwave, Battle Guard Rage, and that's it for that one there, in terms of the deck. Okay, and then we got Red Eyes of Black Dragon, Do Names Dark Witch, Ally of Justice Clausulus, Hannibal Necromancer, Banisher of the Light, Rocket Warrior, Cyber Harpy Lady, Spell Canceler, Strike Ninja, Blowback Dragon, Regenerating Mummy, Pitch Black Warwolf, Banisher of the Radiance, Twin Barrel Dragon, Skill Blue Magician, Buster Blitter the Destruction Swordsmaster, Performance of... Really? Whatever. The Kura Rider, Paladin the White Dragon, Commencement Dan, Revival of the Kura Rider, Magical Formula, White Dragon Ritual, Archfiend's Oath, Got Storm, uh, The Puppet Magic of Dark Ruler, Mirror Wall, pretty cool, Judgment of Anubis, another interesting one, Embodiment of Apophis, Stall Purification, Machine King 3000 BC, Copy Knight, a Swamp Mirror, and Quantum Cat. That's all for the decks. The very last thing we have are these skill cards. So we have Fury of Thunder. Okay. It's the monster, it's a god. Wow. Hieratic Chant. It's Jinzo. The Psychic Duelist. Guardians of the Tomb. Union Combination. Spell of Mask. Magician's Act. Endless Traps, No More Mrs. Nice My, <laughs> what? I'm just gonna attack, Rise of the Fallen, Beast of Phantom, Magnetic Attraction, Power of Friendship, Fusion Party, Ritual Ceremony, okay, uh, Low Blow, and Digging for Gold. So that's all the skill cards we definitely got, oh my god, that's a lot of skill cards that they just give you, just like that, you know? Pretty cool to have all these, and regardless, I mean, it's it's a lot of cards. It's to be honest, it's a pretty great product. I didn't mention this, but it's uh, right now it's approximately going for thirty U.S. dollars in price, and you do get this many cards for that price plus all the foils that you just saw right there. So about this many, plus all these skills and all the foils there, not bad. But you know, obviously, you can go ahead and you know decide for yourself if you want to go ahead and grab this product. But overall, it's pretty good. So before I end this video, I would always like to encourage you to go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoy the video. I do post multiple gaming videos on a daily basis and also take recommendations, so hopefully you enjoy my channel. Bye-bye everyone, have a great and of course a very fantastic day.